I want to tell you about the tiny town I grew up in. I got a Disney shirt on. I'm doing this to uh, kind of get some thoughts out. There's mom being gone. So let's do some memories. This is the school I went to grade, grade school in. There's a gymnasium over there. That was another building that, a little tan one. That was another school uh, building that I think at one point was a high school, but then the high school moved to a different town before I started going here. My house is right over there, that white one. So I had a really long trek to get to and from school. Went to church there. So once I was in first or second grade and mom and dad were both gone from work and of course I walked that whole town block to school. I had worn like biker shorts, like spandex biker shorts and uh, wore them to school and I realized at recess that you could see my pecker through it. Like not see through but you could see every little curve. So while we were lined up Right over here to go in the front door from recess, I took off sprinting home. Again, block away, ran inside, got a different pair of shorts, and went in. And I came back to school, and I was like, maybe a minute late. And someone's like, what, "Where were you? Where'd you go?" I had to change my shorts. Pretty sure the, the teacher thought I pooped myself. It was better than the real excuse. All right, we're gonna go around the back of the grade school grade school a place that's fairly new but everything else is pretty much the same used to play soccer right in that little lot next to the gymnasium and there's a big lot out back on the other side so once me and my brother and my buddy were playing with fireworks and this window right here I think it was this one had a little piece little piece of glass missing like a hailstone had hit it or a rock or something so I knew hold on I knew that if you squeezed a black cat like really tight instead of popping it would go and the black powder would kind of shoot out so I thought okay I'll do that in that window behind me so <laughs> I took the black cat I put it in there and I lit the fuse and as soon as I lit the fuse it fell between the two panes of glass and you can probably guess what happened next. It blew up and shattered the outside window. That window, the part that was blown out, was in the shape of a cat with a giant tail. I don't think I'll ever forget that. The shape of a giant tail uh, cat. And I had used a black cat. So immediately, my brain went to, oh my God, God knows what I did. I'm in trouble with God. <coughs> I was like third grade. I ran home as fast as I could, which again, just a block away, crying the whole way. Not because, not just because I was gonna be in trouble, but because that was a sign from God that he saw what I did and it was wrong. I ended up going to the bus barn and admitting to the guy who runs the school grounds, or the groundskeeper, whatever. Admitting what I did, he was not very happy with me. They ended up putting a new window in the day on a day that I was out here playing on this stuff. He was not happy, but he was never like he was never mean about it. Fast forward, shit, 25 years. That same guy was in the EMS with my mother, and he was the one of the first responders when I found her when she passed away. I don't know, something about that just, he didn't hold a grudge. There's a lot of good people here and that's one of them. And that was really, I knew who the guy was, but that was, I guess my introduction to this guy on a more personal level. I blew out a window that he had to replace. <laughs> I think I did trash duty for a long time to make up for it, but I don't know. <sighs> okay, more memories, I guess, here we go. This little field right here, I used to 
they have ground squirrels all over and you might see some out there they're tiny little things we have ground squirrels they don't really hurt much as far as hurting people but they make lots of little holes well one day I was out here catching them because what you do is you take a bucket of water and fill it in their hole their holes aren't all in interconnected into a hive they're usually just a hole down maybe a couple connect but they're not too bad you fill a hole full of water you get a ground squirrel out you grab a ground squirrel you can pick them up and they won't fight you they're kind of shivering and shocked looking back that's kind of mean but whatever anyways took one home my house is that white one over there so not too far took him home showed my mom my dad we had family over and mom said you need to pick that put that thing away you can take it back where you got it it's gonna bite you being young me I thought no it's wet it's not gonna bite me they don't bite when they're wet A little kid logic I know sooner I had thought that in my head a little bastard bit down in my finger tore a flap of skin out and didn't start bleeding too bad it was just if it would have been one more layer deep it would have just been gushing blood but i was so embarrassed because i just told my mom it won't happen that i just marched my happy butt out of the house and i went home went home i took it home sorry i'm not thinking just straight today she's like every half hour I'm doing something that makes me just lose my mind. Just start sobbing. Wrote mom's obituary today. How do you put a person's life into one paragraph? She did so many good things and you gotta put it into one story. It's part of why I'm doing this. I'm worried that as time goes on, I'm not going to remember little things. Oh, I could tell you so many memories about this damn town. Like this one here. So these were the big kid swings when I was in grade school. You get really high on these. And even then, they had this little wood bracket thing here. I was going up really high. It was like the last day of school, if I remember right. And I think I was on, let's see, there's a corner there. I was on this one right here in the middle. And I'm swinging. I'm going back and forth like this. And I get really, really high. And I go to stop and put my foot down in those rocks right there. And instead of just slowing down and skating my foot across, it catches on something and I go, fly, I go flying out of that swing and I, I tumble and I end up about right here. I scratched up, but nothing permanent. These swings, mom would have killed us. We used to swing on these and jump and catch the bars at the top in the middle. Sometimes we'd miss. We'd hit the rocks. Well, nine times out of ten we could do it. After a while, if my legs got long enough, I could just catch it with my feet without letting go of the swing. Much safer alternative. So I just uh, had a conversation with a guy that I've known for a long time. I worked for him when I was in high school. He helps run the town. Keeps things running. Whatever. And, uh... Home was really loved by a lot of people, not just us. I've got a few messages from people telling me not to bottle stuff up, and I promise I'm not. First couple days, I was, I'd cry just at the drop of a hat, and I still cry a lot. I gotta go work on her memorial slideshow, and that's gonna be the hardest thing. But it's good, it's cathartic. 
thanks for the support and uh, I hope you guys know that there's always a time to cry and if any of you guys need anything just to talk share memories of loved ones whatever hit me up it's been really helpful for me all right I gotta go get some more work done take care